turn up at the Chinese place and figure out if I find you here. What's wrong? What's wrong? The little girl in the hospital. She died. Do you, do you mind if I join you? It's a public break. Do you remember when we were up here one night? You said that you were just so sick and tired of everything, you could just get on your bike and go. Yeah, I remember. We went for a ride. You, you want you want to go for a ride now? I wonder how far we have to go. To get to where? To where you don't have to be anything for anybody. Not even yourself. To where it doesn't hurt anymore. And you just don't care. I'm, I'm there most of the time. But not as much when I'm around you. Well, you better think twice about spending time with me. Most of the people that do seem to vanish. Almost all of them. I'll take my chances. You know what, Jason? hard. I'm sick of being brave and strong and left behind. I'm sick of trying to find a point to every day. I run as hard and as fast as I can, like, like one of those hamsters on one of those wheels, and you look down and you're in the same damn place. Why do you wake up in the morning? I... I guess because I open my eyes. You think that's a good enough reason? Are you as bored and as sick of it as I am? I I don't know. I don't I don't have much comparative. What are you doing? Just looking. Well, there isn't much to see. So I stick around. Let's go. I mean it. Yeah, if you believe that, you're as brain damaged as I am. Oh, really? You think that? You feel comfortable making that judgment? Well, you shouldn't, because you don't know anything about me. You don't know what I need or what I want, and you sure as hell don't know what I have to live with. You're really mad. I suppose you find that shocking. Only because I've never seen you mad before. Oh, yeah? Well, that just proves what I already said. You don't know me, because I'm mad every single minute of every day. Is that why you wanted to jump? Because you're mad? I wasn't going to do it. I know that suicide isn't the answer. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Not that my problem is exactly temporary. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to shake my fist at God or space or something. As a way of saying that I can't handle anymore. Look what you're driving me to. I was 
something was stupid. I'm sorry I pulled you into it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad I was here. It's just sometimes I would just like to get out of my body for a while. You know, just take a vacation. Why? Because so many things hurt so much. Like all the deaths? Your boyfriend? And then that lady everyone liked, Keisha's grandmother? And now this little girl? Janetta. She was so sweet, Jason. She was just a little girl. She should have lived a long, long time. Just like stone. Who's your boyfriend? Stone. It's a good name. I thought so too. I know I accused you of not knowing me. It's not really fair. And I can't expect you to if I hide the thing that's defined me for the last year. There it goes. Janetta had AIDS. Do you know what that means? It's a, it's a virus that attacks the immune system. That's how Stone died. And I might get it too. Jason, I'm trying to tell you that I'm HIV positive. What's wrong? What's wrong? I tell you I'm a high risk and you gotta go straight for it. Go play on the turnpike, Jason. Get yourself into a nice game of Russian roulette. But stay away from me. I'm not gonna be your suicide mission. That's, that's not right what you're saying. You can't contract HIV from casual kissing. I mean, the virus has to enter through the bloodstream uh, through unprotected sex or, or blood transfusion or sharing needles. How, how do I know this? You learned everything you could to help Stone. Because you were his friend. I thought you were mine, Jason. Guess not. Why, why are you all bent on shape? Don't, don't you get it? I knew I wasn't putting myself at risk. You weren't any suicide mission. Then why did you kiss me? I wanted to. I tell you that I'm HIV positive and your first instinct is to kiss me? Maybe it's that whack frontal lobe. This isn't funny, Jason. Maybe not. I just like how your mouth looked. Kind of trembly but strong at the same time and I wondered. How would feel to kiss you, so I did. But if you're this upset, maybe I should have left town. Why do you say that? This might be easier if I went around. I'd still go. All you have to do is say the word. Out here. Why would your leaving or staying depend on what I had to say? Because you're the only person I spend time with. And if I'm getting on your nerves, there's no point in me hanging around. Career advancement opportunities? <laughs> I don't think so. Are you serious? Okay. I wouldn't like it if you left. I'd feel really alone. Okay. 
Okay. I guess that makes us even. Because you're why I didn't get on that bus. Are you still, are you still mad about the kiss? It takes up too much energy to keep a full head of steam. It's funny you don't seem sick. It's not the virus that makes me tired. I'm actually really healthy. How's your T-cell count? Perfect. They call me a long-term non-progressor. So you're not taking any medication? No. I just make sure to sleep enough. Eat the right food. Conserve energy. That's not the stuff that wears me out. All the anger inside and the why me. That's the stuff that drains me. But being with you helps. I'm glad. Why is that? Because when I'm with you, I don't have to match the next time that I am. You make me feel alive and afraid. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I want to make you feel no, afraid. No, it's a good kind of afraid. You take me into the moment with you. Even if it is scary, but I mean, it's wonderful too at the same time. Now you met Robin Scorpio. Strong and steady on the surface, chaos and confusion underneath. In some ways, I feel really. I mean, I have a friend I can be totally honest with. As long as you don't expect me to say the right thing. Because usually I don't have a clue. You're better than you think. Good. Holding your hand. 